I do want to honor your time, so I'm a, I just got a couple rapid fire questions, if that's okay. And okay. I'll let you go. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Favorite sports movie? Oh my God. Um, Friday Night Lights. Oh, love it. And TV show? Did you watch a TV show? Uh, not as much as I probably would love to, but yeah. I'm, these days I have like no time to watch TV. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. But Tammy Taylor. Love her. Okay. Uh, so Favorite good. Gatorade flavor? Oh, I'm always with the orange. Okay. Classic. <laughs> Favorite athlete? Classic. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't pick a favorite, but I would say the entire Orlando Pride team. They're yeah. just a bunch of queens. They are. Like, I'm just so proud of them all the time. Yeah, they are amazing. Talk about people making a difference. That is totally. Sure. If you could have tickets for life for any sport event that happens around the world, anytime, you get tickets every time it happens, what event are you getting tickets for? Oh my gosh. This is going to be super lame, but I'm I'm such a hometown girl. I would say UCF Knights, and okay. if I could if I could follow them everywhere, yeah, like, sure, sure. Capacity, sure, I definitely would. I definitely every would. national championship, yeah, everything you get to yes! for everything they're playing, every single one. Okay, okay. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, if you could be awesome at any sport you've never played before, what sport would you want to be awesome at? Ooh, I would probably say basketball. Okay. I, I just feel like I don't have the height or the endurance for it, but, but I would I would love to be good at basketball because age it just looks it's really fun when you get to play it and B it's good cardio so I would love to be better at it. Very good cardio. Yeah. <laughs> I know I really want us to have a team back in Orlando. We had the Orlando Orlando Miracle back in the day, and I'm like really pushing WNBA. Oh, I love and, it. Yeah, you know, I also do love. I love. I love watching rollerblading, which I know okay. or roller skating, which is not like you know your mainstream sport, but there's a lot of cool teams that yeah that do like competitive skating I just love that too that's awesome very cool yeah I'm gonna check that out I don't know that I've seen you know roller hockey you see every now and then but yeah very cool right 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 yeah well I so appreciate you taking the time and you know just a, a little breather to chat sports and you know just history of sports I think it's so impactful like you were saying like maybe not in the time you realized it was building confidence in you but but maybe sports were a big part of why you can stand in front of crowds these days and totally. you know, spread, spread a message. So thanks for all that you do truly. And uh, thanks for being on the podcast. Uh, thank you, Ashley, for having me. This was awesome. And uh, I hope everyone continues to support uh, their local teams and, you know, and don't forget the women's teams because um, they're often, like you said, overlooked and they deserve the same love and attention as, as any other. Amen to that. Yeah. Go Pride from your Orlando, your Orlando. <laughs>